Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps of Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it and hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, you guys. So we got surrender to the divine and nothing is yet set in stone okay so whatever has not you know whatever answers that you're not receiving right now again you guys if you've been watching me for a while um or if you're new to my channel i'm going to say it again we are in a very weird place when it comes to these moon cycles so you're going to have to be in a place of a hands-off approach okay we don't have all the uh, answers at hand just know that luck is on your side and you are almost coming to the end of a tough cycle okay uh, we do have the new moon in Sagittarius eclipse coming up so uh, we got nothing is yet set in stone surrender to the divine luck is on your side and the end of a tough cycle approaches okay I mean really that is either way there's going to be help, okay? You may have to wait. This could be definitely a timing card, new moon in Sagittarius, uh, for you to know where you're going. Because right after that, there's the Capricorn. After Sagittarius is Capricorn. So, you know, I feel like this is, it could also be a progression of timing. Uh, let's find out what this is all about, you guys. Um, this could be for a lot of different things. This is, you know, all our hard work and dedication is starting to pay off. You know, on the 17th of this month, we do have Saturn and Jupiter coming out of Capricorn and getting ready to move into um, Aquarius and when that happens it's going to change the whole dynamic that's where our attention goes for the next three years so up until 2023 it also kicks off a 200 year cycle so I feel like you're going to have to surrender yeah not knowing again look at that look 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 Come on, you guys, surrender to the divine. You may not know where you're going, but I'm going to tell you right now, luck is on your side. All right. Hmm. Bottom of the deck. The Empress, nothing is yet set in stone, okay? So if there's something that you've been waiting on, whether this comes from the mother, this could have something to do with your job, all of those things, I feel like give it up to a higher power. Listen, the Empress knows her role, okay? Uh, the Empress, the lovers, I feel like, you know... This could have something to do with a choice and you're just going to have to give it to a higher power. I feel like this person, if you're trying to end a cycle with someone, if this is the ending of a relationship, I feel like this empress is here to help. Okay. I feel like, because the tough cycle, if you've had a tough cycle with a masculine in your life, it's coming to an end. I feel like rules, laws, and restriction has gotten in the way because Saturn is all about doing the due diligence. It's all about rules, laws, and restriction and responsibility. It's saying luck is on your side. And I feel like this is going to be, you know, before the new moon eclipse in Sagittarius or right around the same time. A mother could definitely be helping you out with this. Uh, or a mother-like figure. Also, this could be you just knowing your value and your worth. Uh, you could be dealing with a Libra, an Aries, a Taurus, Gemini, Leo, and Sagittarius. I'm seeing that here. Also a Capricorn. Does not have to be those signs. Could be your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, Jupiter, or Mars. Mercury even. Religious factors, yeah. Oh, gosh, you guys, these cards are just flying out. Yeah, someone here is codependent. Someone here has been trying to be codependent on you. Working on codependency issues. Learning how to forgive and learn. It says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. I feel with that said, you know, it's, it's learning forgiveness for the other parties involved. If you're going through a breakup, learning how to forgive that other party. I feel like there was a difference. For some of you, I'm hearing irreconcilable differences, okay? Whether this is in the past or this is going on now. Codependency is, somebody is here is breaking attachments is what I'm seeing. If somebody has been codependent on your finances because Empress is all about abundance. So somebody trying to steal your abundance, I feel like that is coming to an end. For others of you, if this is a romantic relationship, I feel like they have been working on their addiction issues as well. 
and there is someone here who is seeing you as their empress. They're, they're seeing you as someone that they want to get to know and that this has been a very divinely guided relationship. And this person is finally to this place of wanting to surrender. And I feel like this person is going to be coming in. I do feel like the two of you guys have been longing for one another. And I feel like um, you have given it up to a higher power and it's getting ready. It's saying, saying the end of a tough cycle approaches. This king takes action. Okay, so I feel like whatever this is, you're ending old karma, old karmic patterns, and you are getting ready to come into something new. Someone here is about ready to take action on this relationship. They want to meet their mark, and they believe that is you. Uh, this person has realized the love that they have for you. And they had to overcome some of their own belief system as well, because you would think about Sagittarius and Sagittarius is all about foreign beliefs. Sagittarius is all about foreign places, foreign people, foreign lands, people, politica, all of those things. So, and then we have the rel religious factors. So this could have like where two people believe in two separate entities, you know, but at the same time, it's like neither one of them is 100%, you know what I mean? It's just your belief system. So it's like bringing those together, your beliefs together. So I want to say, with that said, whatever tough cycle you have been in, maybe this is a cycle of being single. Maybe this is a cycle of, you know, you're going from being married to single. You're almost to the end. This masculine over here, because I am seeing it, there's romantic feelings with this masculine, okay? And I do see that because um, Capricorn is also a masculine energy, okay? Capricorn is uh, about in this person. So there could definitely be an age difference between the two of you because Capricorn does rule age differences, especially when I'm seeing an empress here and, an, and a king here. This could tell me that there's an age difference and you have to look past that. You know, age is just a number, it really, when it comes right down to it. And Saturn has a tendency of bringing you somebody who, whether it's an actual physical age difference or it's a, a maturation dif you know, difference. Maybe someone here is more skilled in their spirituality and is already on their spiritual journey and this person is just tugboating along, okay? Uh, and it means they're going to catch up, but it's just a matter of time. They have to let go of their old life in order to retrieve their new life. So you guys, if this sounds like your story and you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootsteps2peace.com. Also like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it and hit that not notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. You guys, I am doing the buy one, get one half off sale. If you guys are interested, please take full advantage of that. Great Christmas presents. Uh, knowledge is power and words are weapons and you're going to need to know how to use them. So you guys, we'll see you right after this for the love reading. Hopefully you'll join us over there.